This is part 4 of our discussion on the Tagalog demonstrative pronouns. Kumusta po kayo? Welcome back. We are continuing our discussion on the Tagalog demonstrative pronouns or panghalip pamatlig, which we started three episodes ago. If you have seen the last three videos, then you are already familiar with this chart on the Tagalog demonstrative pronouns. If not, I'm encouraging you to see those videos to get you up to speed. I'm posting the links in the description box down below. Please check them out so that this current video will make sense to you. We already know that there are six categories of demonstrative pronouns in Tagalog, as you can see on the table. We are still discussing the first category, the direct demonstrative pronoun. The direct demonstrative pronouns are ito, iyan, and iyun. This, that, and that over there. In this video, we will use the direct demonstrative pronouns in more situations. We will use them with number one, with adjectives, and number two, with verbs. As usual, we will use simple sentence patterns, which I hope you can use to get you going in practicing Tagalog. So, tara, simula na natin. But before that, please be sure that you are subscribed if you're still not by simply clicking on the subscribe button and the bell notification button so you'll be updated of new videos, all right? On to our lesson. We will start using the direct demonstrative pronouns with adjectives. In doing so, we will use the Tagalog degrees of comparison or the method of comparing one person or one object with another one, which we tackled in episode 128 to 130. I hope you still remember that. So, here are our simple sample sentences. Maganda ito. This is pretty. Mas maganda iyan. That is prettier. Pinaka maganda iyon. That over there is prettiest. Ayos ba? So far so good? Let's have some more. Mahirap ito. This is difficult. Mas mahirap iyan. That is more difficult. Pinaka mahirap iyon. That over there is most difficult. Malaki ito. This is big. Mas malaki iyan. That is bigger. Pinaka malaki iyon. That over there is biggest. Maamo ito. It is tame. Mas maamo iyan. It is tamer or it is more tame. Pinaka maamo iyon. It is tamest. It is the most tame. Depending on the context or the object, ito, iyan, and iyon can also mean it in English, as in these examples. Now, let's add a question and answer pattern into our examples. Here goes. Mabilis ito. This is fast. Mas mabilis iyan. That is faster. Pinaka mabilis iyon. That over there is fastest. Mabilis ba ito? Is this fast? Oo. Mabilis iyan. Yes, that is fast. Hindi. Hindi iyan mabilis. No, that is not fast. Mabigat ito. This is heavy. Mas mabigat iyan. That is heavier. Pinaka mabigat iyon. That over there is heaviest. Mabigat ba ito? Is this heavy? Oo, mabigat iyan. Yes, that is heavy. Hindi, hindi iyan mabigat. No, that is not heavy. Mahal ito. This is expensive. Mas mahal iyan. That is more expensive. Pinaka mahal iyon. That over there is most expensive. Mahal ba ito? Is this expensive? Oo, mahal iyan. Yes, that is expensive. Hindi, hindi iyan mahal. No, that is not expensive. Ayos ba? 
hindi naman mahirap, di ba? It's not too hard, is it? I hope you're getting the hang of it. Now, our second lesson is to use the direct demonstrative pronouns with verbs. The verbs I am using in these examples are verbs we already learned previously. Let's take a look at our simple sample sentences. Ginagawa ko ito. I am doing this. Or, I am making this. Ginawa ko iyan. I did that. Or, I made that. Gagawin ko iyon. I will do that. Or, I will make that. Iyon doesn't only point to a distant object, but also points to ideas, beliefs, or concepts. That's because those ideas, beliefs, or concepts are out of sight and not in front of the speaker nor the listener. Got it? Moving on. Kakainin ko ito. I will eat this. Kakainin mo iyan. You will eat that. Kakainin natin iyon. We will eat that over there. Now, if the dish is out of sight, it could mean we will eat that. Ayos ba? Madali, di ba? It's simple, isn't it? Let's have some more. Tinatanim niya ito. He or she is planting this. Tinanim niya iyan. He or she planted that. Itatanim niya iyon. He or she will plant that over there. Sinasabi namin ito. We are saying it. Sinabi namin iyan. We said it. Sasabihin namin iyon. We will say it. These are one of those instances when ito, iyan, and iyon mean it. Moving on. Sinusulat ni Peter ito. Peter is writing this. Sinulat ni Peter iyan. Peter wrote that. Susulatin ni Peter iyon. Peter will write that. In this context, iyon points to the idea of writing and not some physical writing. Furthermore, on these examples, the subjects are not represented by personal pronouns. The subject is a common noun, Peter. While this structure is grammatically correct, it sounds awkward to a native speaker. In this case, we flip the personal pronoun and the demonstrative pronoun like this. Sinusulat ito ni Peter. Peter is writing this. Sinulat iyan ni Peter. Peter wrote that. Susulatin iyon ni Peter. Peter will write that. This will sound more natural. Use this pattern if you wish to sound like a native speaker, but only with subject nouns. Alright? Let's have some more examples. Binabasa ito ni Marie. Marie is reading this. Binasa iyan ni Marie. Marie read that. Babasahin iyon ni Marie. Marie will read that over there. Ibinibigay ito ni na June at Ed. June and Ed are giving this. Ibinigay iyan ni na June at Ed. June and Ed gave that. Ibibigay iyon ni na June at Ed. June and Ed will give that over there. Linalaro ito ni na Anton at Joaquin. Anton and Joaquin are playing with this. Linaro iyan ni na Anton at Joaquin. Anton and Joaquin played with that. Lalaroin iyon ni na Anton at Joaquin. Anton and Joaquin will play with that over there. So, kumusta? I hope our examples are clear enough. Now, let me ask you a question. On our sample sentences on direct demonstrative pronouns, did you notice anything peculiar? Did you notice that the verbs we use are all object-focused verbs? That's why our subject pronouns are grouped to personal pronouns like ko, mo, namin, natin, niya. Why is that? Why didn't I use actor-focused verbs in my examples? Well, it's because 
we don't use actor focus verbs with direct demonstrative pronouns. We use a different category of demonstrative pronouns, and that is going to be the subject of my next video. So, please do not miss that. And also, please don't forget to click on the like button because that will help this video and this channel to be recommended to more people, thus helping this channel grow. All right, I will see you next time. Maraming salamat po at hanggang sa susunod.